S C A K O works. Famicom Playing Time Dragon Ball Z Assault of the Saiyans. And finally, we get footage of the game that I promised how many other months it was ago. Sorry about that. But, um, I love this opening, I really do. It may be an old game, but this opening just is a high grabber here. And especially with the space background, and you see Raditz or Vegeta. That's where I start with this. From a game from 1990, it's very impressive. What do you expect from Dragon Ball, right? And, let's go and see some real gameplay. Alright, so I decided to just go ahead and do a new game where y'all can see the story. I actually had to uh, go redo this again because I forgot to record this one part, the whole opening. But um, yeah, everything's still intact. I just went back where y'all can kind of see what this looks like here, especially for people who've never ever seen it. And in case you're wondering, yeah, I have the game. In fact, I might just show that cartridge after all this. Very end. But um, yeah, I figured I'd show y'all the little intro here. With the uh, Raditz coming to Earth and whatnot. And yeah, obviously it's completely Japanese. Japanese game. But um, yeah. I went ahead and put this in here. To where you can see the whole little opening thing that it does every time you hit the game. And actually every time you continue it'll do something like this too. But anyway. Um, yeah. Here's the actual game. You see, it's not great in the graphics part, but in the game itself. I guess the whole budget went to the yoga, right? Huh? But um, actually, when you're battling, they look very good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, now, it's nothing like the Super Nintendo one. That I think they actually dumbed the Super Nintendo one down a little bit to match this one. It would be kind of obvious that it's the same kind of thing. But you see here you play as Goku and Piccolo at the very beginning. I guess you're going to fight Raditz, I'm not that sure. I don't play this one that often. I play the Super Nintendo one. I enjoyed it much, much more. Because this one's difficulty spike here. At least for me. I, mean, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but the difficulty spike for this one is just outrageous. And here you see a battle. There's Cyberman. They're all different colors on this one to represent different stages, how strong each one is, you know, the classic beat em up. But see, as I said, the actual in battle is not that bad. I would recommend if you were to play this to try to level up right next to the um, healing capsule house or whatever you want to call it for this one. But um, Super Nintendo one, it, you had things that called Bulma. And you can use your bombers. Yes, I know, it's a character. I mean, the cards. There's some kind of card or item. But, um, you get them and you can heal anywhere. Now, this one's not the same thing. Although, if you're playing this one with cheat codes, I don't think it would be such a big problem. You know, infinite life and all. Something. But, uh, these games are pretty wicked when you put the cheat code down. Obviously, as you can tell, I do not use the cheat codes. Otherwise, you know, it would be one hit deaths and whatnot. As you can see, clearly see my HP is declining. Now, um, the card he's using is a special card. You can use those as well. You just gotta see the, the little image in the middle there. The X with the three dots. That's what your finisher is. The top ball is the strength of your attack, and the bottom ball is the strength of your defense. But when you're on this screen right here, it's just the top ball is how many times you move. I'm not sure if the bottom ball is the likelihood of you not being in battle or not. I do know it's like that in the newer one that's on DS. And you know, they're kind of almost the exact same kind of thing. But um, DS is a lot more self-explanatory. And plus it is an English thing that they don't know a lot. As you see, there's the finisher. I'm sure if you rewind, you can see that I used the X with the three dots. I saved it specifically for that, where I could show you all that. But, um, yeah, this wasn't a very successful playthrough, as you're about to find out in a minute. I just wanted y'all to see kind of what the game looked like, especially after it's been this long for me to record it. And you see, I get right here at the house, and here's my battle 
out here. So yeah, I got four enemies, and I'm almost dead anyway. So yeah, it's not going to be a good ending here, unfortunately for y'all. But y'all do get to see, there's an item screen for you. And you will get to see the game on the which is pretty cool. It's really well animated. But I tap the Saiyan. He uses his finisher immediately, as you can tell by the X3 dot. I wish I knew what it was called, where I won't sell people to the Japanese enthusiasts that actually understand all of it. And there you see the ending credits. Well, not ending, well, game over screen. And I'm going to leave this uh, commentary off here. But, uh, thanks for watching. And there's just how it's screen. And, cut. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I know I did. Got my Dragon Ball shirt on for y'all. Unfortunately, I don't have my DBZ hat on, but, you know. I didn't feel like running into the room to get it real quick for this exiting part of the video, the little outro. But um, here's the game, especially since I told y'all I would be showing the game. You can see clearly see it says Bandai on the top, because apparently Bandai has their own cartridges in Japan, or at least back then. But as you can see, same game. Has a little on the back. And even has a little Bandai logo right there. I'll show you the funny camera. Camera's working. Things you may not know, this took three times to get this theory just right. And you see now it's focusing on me again. I know I keep doing this right here. But let me tell you when I'm doing that, I'm trying to make sure I'm recording properly for y'all. But anyway, till next time, y'all. Have a good one, and see you later. Here are our websites. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, have a good one and see you later.